welcome to another session on OSAP. So go for the session. Today we are going to discuss about context, scope, and different modes in SAP. First of all, what is context? Contacts are a way of relating a set of URLs together. So you can define any context you like, but it's expected that a context will correspond to a web application you testing okay it is recommended that you define a new context for each web application that makes up the system you are testing and set them in scope as you test each one so it is the way of letting your testing web application that means it's grouping a eh? grouping our web application which are under testing so context it will help to group a set of URLs so contacts are defined as a set of regular expressions that which are applied to all the URLs in the site tree so we can go to the SAP and we can create a context and how to add our web application into a new context we can see on SAP so go to the SAP then I will take a testing URL and launch our our uh, application on a Chrome browser as I already done a video about how to manually explore web application and capture and perform the testing security testing using that so here I just launched the web application you can see when I launch the web application in left side on SAP on site tree it is capturing so I just closing now so I explored nothing much more I just explored the app launch the application so it's captured over the interceptor of the SAP you can see uh, by default you can see only a context of default context only there so we need to include our web application this is our web application right localhost the and the port number so remaining are not in our testing domain which are in different domain right so we need to add this our this web application that our testing url into the context that means in group so for that right click on the folder and you can see include site in contacts you can either include in default contacts or new contacts i here choose a new contacts so it will create a new contacts other than a default one so click on include site in contacts and click on new contacts okay so by default the domain name it will give as the contacts name okay if you want to change it you can change here as of now i not change it into any other name if you want now it is i uncheck this one not in scope so you can see what happened so then i go to the include the automatically the regular expression is captured that means the URL and at the end there is star so after star anything having that URL it will include in contacts that means the grouping will happen the remaining will be filter out okay then nothing we need to do just click on ok so the new contacts is created okay likely we can create a, a new context based on our web application or say citing testing website okay hope you understand how to create a context okay then coming to our slide and we can see understand that we can create a context for later relating a set of URL together which are we are testing so coming to next one scope scope what is scope the scope is a set of urls you are testing and 
is defined by the context you have specified right now we created a context so in context we this de defining the scope that is scope is a set of url you are testing by default nothing in scope okay so so how to include a context in a scope so go to the tab and you can see in default there is a icon here when you click on that show only url in in scope so when click on that you can filter out the in scope web, web site three from site three you can filter out so when i click on that only in sites there is no in scope okay so when over here the red icon show all the urls so you need to include this into the in scope so for that add into scope so that you can see it is in in scope the folder is changed in in folder there is a icon for red color symbol is added that means it is in in scope okay or you can go file and click on session property you can choose the context and click on the checkbox then it will in scope right now i added in in scope just now so it is already in checkbox check condition so click on ok so now it is in in scope our testing web, web application so the these others are not needed right so we need to filter out only in scope in scope web applications for testing so just over here you can see show only url in scope so just click on for that so only in scope will be filtered out and it is in context under under this okay we create a new context and include in in scope so remaining unwanted unwanted sites are removed so this is about this context and scope okay grouping a url and include for the in scope for testing coming to next section what is modes different there are different modes available in sap that are safe protected standard and attack safe mode means no potential dangerous operations permitted okay we can be not able to do any attack on safe mode if it is if this sap set in safe mode we cannot do any dangerous operations coming to protected mode we can only perform dangerous actions on urls in scope we, we already seen in scope web applications so protected mode only we can perform on the dangerous actions like active scan spidering or are done on protected mode which are in in scope in scope sites only in standard mode it doesn't trust anything you can do as you any can anything you can do any folder which are not considering in scope or nothing okay coming to attack mode when you change the into, into attack mode it, they will pop it up and it will actively scan as soon as it's discovered that means it in scope items are sc uh, scanned automatically when we change it to attack mode okay so it is recommended that you use protected mode to ensure that only attack sites that you mean to so it is recommended to use the protected mode while you're testing you can choose change the mod in toolbar so go for the sap and we can see how to change this scope sorry the mods so come coming to the mods you can see in toolbar there you can see different mod for different mods first of all i will choose safe mode when i choose safe mode if you right click on our site tree Web application and you can see all are in disable mode so 
in safe mode nothing will will not happen we we wouldn't able to perform anything okay in safe mode if i change to protected mode so you can see you can now the attack buttons are enabled active scan spidering or are fuzzing or are enabled okay suppose i click on show or urls you can see in protected mode i already already communicated that you cannot do any attack on not in scope these are not in scope so you cannot perform anything so in 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 this scope you can perform these actions if your site is in scope then you can perform these actions in protection mode okay then coming to standard mode you can see you can perform your attack on in this scope items and non in scope item you can perform respective to the scope in standard mode you can perform as your wish suppose i change to the attack mode the pop-up will be show you rescan all the nodes when scope changes if you select this option i will scan all the nodes currently in scope will rescan all of the nodes in scope so it will scan all the in scope items here i local hosts are in in scope so it will scan the local host when i click on yes you can see when i click on yes you can see in history the active scanning is performing and you can see only in scope other urls are not scanning here you can see only local host web application is scanning so likely we can choose the mods as we wanted it is recommended to choose the protection mode for testing okay so in this scope application will be performed for active scan anything we can perform based on our needs okay then this is all about today's section thank you if you like my section please like and subscribe my channel we can see in another video till then bye Thank you. Happy learning.